the proudest moment where you felt as a Marine that you will never forget? So I spent the rest of my Marine Corps career in the infantry on the ground side. Um, I was with, but when I first was in, I was on, I was avionics on Hueys and Cobras. So we were off the coast of Somalia. We were doing the UN withdrawal of Somalia and um, the Marines on the beach started taking fire and we needed to launch a couple Cobras in air for air support. Cause we were, we were on a ship off the coast and then we did some stuff inland as well, but we had a, the, the Marines needed air support. Um, one of our primary aircraft, they had some avionics issues. Um, so I went out to the aircraft, troubleshot the aircraft, got it fixed. And they were able to launch instead of having to tow the backup out to launch the backup. So we were able to launch the aircraft is able to provide that close, close air support. And then we didn't lose any Marines on the beach. So it was just a proud moment for me because, you know, you train all the time, you work on the aircraft, but you never are in a situation all the time where you're working on the aircraft where somebody's life depends upon whether or not you could fix it or not. You know, besides the pilots, obviously, you know, their life depends upon your ability to perform maintenance every day. But I'm talking about, you know, that aircraft needs to be able to fire upon the enemy to protect those Marines, the pressure's on. So that was probably my proudest moment, as a, especially as a young Marine who was going out there, um, fixing that aircraft so he can go out and do his job. Wow. So it's one of those moments where every second counts, you know, every delay could be a potential loss of life if you don't get that thing up in the air. Yep. Yeah, so, cause if anybody has ever deployed on a ship, they understand that, you know, you have your backups that are ready to go, but you still have to tow the back out, the backup to the launch spot. The pilot has to get out of that aircraft, you know, get in the other aircraft, you know, turn it up. They have to arm the ordnance. So, you know, this isn't just something that they can do, you know, within a few seconds, it takes minutes for them to, to get the backup ready to go. So, you know, by the maintenance technician or avionics men or, whatever air part of the airframe you're working on the ability to get that aircraft fixed why it's you know sitting there turning is is imperative